Hello and welcome to AM Guitar with me, Anjay. Today we are looking at this fantastic germanium fuzz face from Hubcap John. Now, don't let the tobacco tin fool you. This is a grown up proper fuzz. Um, it is based on the traditional fuzz face circuit. It comes with germanium uh, transistors and it has this three way tone control. You get a gain and a volume and an on off switch. I have demoed the silicon fuzz in this same format. And I have to admit, I much prefer the germanium. Now, there is some argument about whether germanium and silicon is any real difference. The truth is it's in the feel rather than tone when you get to full volume. Where the germanium really comes to its kind of its special power is when you start lowering the volume on your guitar, as you'll see later. But first of all, let's just give it a go. Now, word of warning, I'm not going to mess around with the volume control because, as is the case with a lot of these older kind of circuits, um, Unity volume is pretty much maxed out volume on here, so I'm just going to leave it as is. But here is my clean tone on my uh, neck pickup. And here is full on fuzz. down the fuzz to nothing Twelve o'clock three o'clock now you might feel that full-on fuzz is a little bit muffled Rolling it back a bit. Three o'clock's about where it sounds best for me. Let's play around with the tone controls and then we'll muck around with it properly. So, push it down. More bass all the way up. More bass, uh, possibly the mids change a little bit with the first one. Up. Yeah, it, it, it just messes the tone a little bit. I personally prefer it in the middle anyway. So, now I mentioned that the best thing about Geranium Fuzz is how it cleans up on the volume control. So here's what it'll sound like as I start playing with the volume control. So rolling down to about five. Wrong notes are in there for free, don't worry about it. So you get a really clean tone, but with kind of a bit more sparkle than just my ordinary clean tone, and you can bring in the tiny bit of grip. to the full fuzz effect. Even then you can really clean it up with the volume control and actually you can bring a little bit of bass back in with the uh, tone control. Thank you. 
a flexible effect when you get a good fuzz pedal you know that fact that you can go from real all-out dirt to beautiful sparkly clean just with the volume control of the guitar makes it just the most versatile effect when you use it properly now obviously germanium fuzzes have some issues the main one being that the germanium trio transistors can be a little bit iffy at, vol at uh, heat they respond oddly to different voltages. You know, if you, I'm using a battery at the moment. If the battery is running low, you start to get spluttering, which is a great effect sometimes that people really love. Um, but obviously, John spends a lot of time and pays a lot of attention to getting the right components in his pedals. So for me, this sits as kind of a fantastic um, starting point to your effects chain. Now, Fuzz faces like this need to be the first thing that your guitar is plugged into because they need the full signal from the guitar. They can't go through buffers and things like that. So what a lot of people will do is they'll take a fuzz like this, they'll turn the volume on their guitar down to get that clean tone and then build the rest of their tone around that. And then be able to use the volume control on their guitar to really kind of boost the, the signal on the, the overall effects chain. I love it. I think it's a great effect. I think it's well made. I love the tobacco tin aesthetic. I'd really like to hear your thoughts on it. Do you think the whole silicon versus germanium is nonsense? I did until I started using proper silicon and germanium fuzzes like this. Uh, and then I realized that at high gain, almost no difference. At low gain, uh, the, way, the way it cleans up the volume control, unless you've had a very cleverly made silicon fuzz, the germanium blows it out of the water feels smoother to play might not sound it but it, it it has a different feel just like a tube amp feels slightly different to the player than a than a full uh, transistor amp does silicon versus germanium feels different to the player it may not sound different but it feels different which can be really important how your effects feel to you when you play them so get in the comments let me know what you think like subscribe and i'll see you again soon and again thanks to john for sending this over cheers